Hi, and welcome to this video where I'll be showing you how to grow a red bell pepper. Now, of course, you can choose red, green, yellow, whatever color bell pepper you prefer. Red is my favorite, so that's where I'm starting with. So to get started, I have already gone to my local gardening store where I purchased a pre-germinated and grown red bell pepper plant that's already ready to be transplanted into a pot. However, if you would like to give your clients more of a challenge, feel free to start all the way from the beginning with seeds. So next, let's look at my pot. I have a 12 inch in diameter pot, and that's because even though this plant may look small, the roots are actually gonna grow fairly large and wanna give them room to do so. Also, this pot has holes in the bottom, and that's for proper drainage, because if it doesn't drain properly, your plant can actually drown and then die. And it also has a pan for the water to collect. Some pots come with it, like mine did, and others you'll have to buy a plastic clear draining pan for your pot. First, I'm going to fill up my pot about 80 to 90% of the way with mostly potting mix and also some gardening soil. Now I'm using majority of potting mix because it's actually a lot more airy and lighter than gardening soil and it will provide proper drainage for your plant and so it won't drown. Now I'm using some gardening soil because gardening soil is typically a little bit cheaper than potting mix and so you can mix the two to make it a more affordable but also still good soil for your plant to grow in. So to get started, I'm gonna grab a few scoops. I have a cup here. You can use a garden shovel. However, I'm just gonna use a cup. Um, to keep your hands clean, you can put on some gardening gloves. If you just don't care and you wanna get dirty, go ahead and just use your bare hands. I'm going to slide these on real quick. And I'm going to start filling up with gardening soil. Okay, so now my pot is filled about 80 to 90% of the way with gardening soil and potting mix. And it's time to transplant this red bell pepper from this cup and into our pot. But before I do that, I want to let you guys know that it's very important not to compact your soil when you're adding it into your pot. You want it to have plenty of room to grow and for the roots to be able to poke through the soil. So make sure it's nice and airy and not so compacted. Okay, so I'm going to grab this cup and I'm going to very gently pull the plant and its roots out of this cup. Okay. Okay, so I've loosened up the roots by massaging them a little bit. They're very compacted in that cup, so you don't want them to be all tight. You want them a little bit loose so they're able to branch out into this pot. You're going to create a little bit of a well to fit your plant in. And then you're going to pack it in with the soil that's in the pot. And so we have the plant in the pot, and now we're going to add more soil to the pot more soil and potting mix. Fill it up the rest of the way. And the plant needs at least six hours of sun, direct sunlight 
So make sure to put it in a spot in your yard, your patio, front yard, wherever. It can get six hours.